Hi guys, Mark Heineman here, head professional at Kalani Golf and Fishing Club. At the moment we're over at the Academy, uh, our great learning centre here at Kalani Golf and Fishing Club. Uh, but in a few minutes we're going to head over onto our championship course, our Killeen course, and look at some trouble shots. So if you're a regular golfer, you'll know by now that golf balls tend to have a mind of their own. They don't always go where we want them to go. So despite our best intentions and trying as much as we like, the ball tends to have you know, a mind of its own and ends up in some very strange places. So what we got for you today is how to escape out of the four most common sort of bad situations. So we've got a plugged ball in a bunker. We've got some tree trouble. So the ball up against a tree, trying to hit it low under a tree and then heavy rough. So you've missed the fairway and you found yourself in a bad lie. So we got four of the most common trouble shots. Let's go take a look. Okay, so shot number one, uh, plugged ball. Unfortunately, you've just missed it, your approach shot, come up short in the bunker, and we found ourselves in a difficult lie, to say the least. So, you know, a lot of soft sand here today, balls come down from a height and plugged. Uh, that can also be if you happen to find yourself in a footprint, a, a heel print, maybe the guys in front weren't as careful as they could be with raking the bunker, and you've ended up in a tricky spot. So like all trouble shots here, whenever the lie is less than perfect, the worse the lie, the more you move it back in your stance. So we're gonna play this back in the stance towards the right foot, and really what I'm trying to do is get as little sand trapped between the club and the ball okay so you know, again I'm gonna have to really lever this club up quite sharp and pick it straight back down into the back of the the back of the golf ball so everything you've learned everything you know about regular bunker shots forget it for this one none of that applies you know none of opening the club face none about altering the stance we're gonna play this with a very sharp front edge I'm trying to get that leading edge as close to the back of ball as I possibly can and uh, again trying to minimize the amount of sand so I'm gonna go down the handle weight left ball back really trying to lever that club up quite sharp so the only thing we can expect to see with this one the ball's going to run out when it lands not going to be much control over the shot not going to be much um, sort of stop on the ball so if we can try and allow for that additional roll that we're going to get when the ball lands on the green okay let's give it a go Okay, well she's out, uh, a little bit past the pin, but again, at least I'm not going to have that same shot again. So key things there, the worse the lie, the more you move it back in your stance, the more you put your weight on your front foot. So my left foot here, trying to lever it up very sharp, plenty of wrist, get that club upright in the backswing and try and drop it back down as close to the back of the ball as you possibly can. Okay, so shot number two of our trouble shots. Bit of tree trouble here. Uh, about 180 yards away from the flag. No real option of going towards the flag whatsoever. So I'm just going to take my medicine. Just trying to put myself in the best position for my next shot, my third shot. So a couple of options. You know, I could go backwards. If you really fancy it, you could go one-handed. You could turn the club over and go left-handed. But those two need a little bit more practice. Certainly wouldn't want to be attempting anything I haven't uh, practiced myself and got confident with. So again, just going to take the medicine, try and get it back into play, try and give myself the best angle for my third shot. So really all I'm going to do here is chip it out sideways, uh, keeping it low under the branches in front of me here and trying to get myself in best place, as I said, for my next shot. So I'm going to play it back in my stance, pick it up nice and sharp. And again, on the far side of the fairway, give me a good angle for my next shot. Okay, so shot number three of our trouble shots, our escape shot series today. A uh, little bit more tree trouble again. I uh, found myself on the opposite side of the fairway this time. And, you know, again, if we were sensible and we felt like it, we could almost sort of chip this one back out onto the fairway and give ourselves a clear shot for our next shot. But 
I'm not like that. I'm going to go with the theory that uh, trees are 90% air. So what I'm going to do here, we've got about 165 yards to the flag. Um, I feel if I can get it under these branches here, clear the tree in front of me, I can at least get it up somewhere near the green, if not on the green, and give me a good uh, chance of making my par. So again, what I'm looking at here is to take a club that I know is going to go under these initial branches here and not hit anything too too solid so all about trying to keep that ball low and what I'm going to do in my setup I'm certainly going to bring the ball back in my stance towards my back foot weight left and always standing a little bit open so certainly a punt shot very useful on a windy day as well those of you that get to play the Lynx courses we're going to have it back in the stance slightly open stance so it allows me to keep turning when I hit the shot but again if I want to hit a golf shot low, I've got to make sure that my swing is low. If I was going to hit this up in the air high, then my general swing and my follow through is going to be much higher. Okay, so again, let's just make sure we miss these initial branches and get it up towards the flag right there. All back, weight left, restrict the follow through. Okay, I'll take that all day long, up to about 20 feet or so, just on the front of the green. So again, you can be sensible, knock it out, or you can take a gamble and uh, go for the big shot. Okay, so 16th hole on the Killeen course, par five. Went for the big tee shot, got a bit uh, hooky, bit of a pull hook down the left side. So found myself in a less than ideal spot uh, in some heavy rough. So. Again, I've uh, got to just assess whether it's worth the risk of trying to get it out there with a hybrid club or a longer club, try and get it up near the green, or, you know, again, more so, just got to get it back in play. So what we've got here, um, not going to be too greedy. I'm going to make sure that I get the ball back into position for my next shot and try and get up on the green in three from here. Uh, so a bit like the plugged ball in a bunker shot, really. This one, the worse the lie, the more you move it back in your stance. So I'm going to play this sort of inside my right instep. I'm going to try and keep my weight on my left foot. Again, making sure that I get very minimal grass trapped between the club and the ball. Of course, now when we're in the, the rough like this, there's every chance that the long grass is going to grab that hosel and twist the club into a closed position. So just to counteract that a little bit from the start, I'm just going to set the club in a slightly open position here. I'm going to turn it to what I call best part of one o'clock, open up that club face and grip it a little tighter this time. Again, just trying to restrict the tendency for the club to twist. So if I got it back in my stance towards my right foot, weight left, keeping the club open, grip pressure a little tighter, just trying to get it back in position for my next shot. Okay, so there she is, back out onto the fairway, got a chance of uh, reaching up on the green in three shots. Okay, so there you have it, four of the most common trouble shots, four of the most awkward situations that we now and again find our golf ball ending up in. If you think we've missed one out, if there's any particular part of the game that you wanted to sort of look at, any other trouble shots uh, that you've encountered during your play in recent times, please be sure to put it in the comments below. And of course, as with all our videos here, please be sure to like and subscribe so you get notifications of our next video coming up. Thank you. Thank you.